And for bringing attention to more news coming in, let's talk about the latest political reaction that's coming from Karnataka after two Karnataka Congress ministers push. The request for more deputy chief ministers post is also being witnessed. Priyank Kharge says if making deputy CMs based on communities will resolve problems, then all could have used the same tactic. It's a response coming in from Priyank Kharge. Listen in. ಅದು ಅವ್ರ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕ ವಿಚಾರ ಇರಬಹುದು ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಹಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಕೇಳೋದು ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಕಮಾಂಡ್ ಹತ್ರ ಕೇಳಿ ಕೇಳಬಾರ್ದಂತ ಯಾರದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದಾನೇ ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದಿದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಒಬ್ಬರಿರ್ಲಿ ಇಡೀ ಕ್ಯಾಬಿನೆಟ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡ್ಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸಮುದಾಯಗಳು ಓಲೈಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದಿದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಇದೇ ರಣತಂತ್ರ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆಲಸ ಏನು ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಮಗೂ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕೈದು ಸೀಟ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆತ್ಮಾವಲೋಕನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದೀವಾ ಇಲ್ಲ Let me go across to Ritu joining us with more details. Ever since the Congress rose to power in the state, in Karnataka, Ritu, there were murmurs, a lot of buzz around a possible power-sharing formula between DK Shivkumar and Siddharamaya. We've not seen that uh, so far take place or materialize, turn into a reality. But what are these latest uh, murmurs coming in as far as the Deputy Chief Minister's post is concerned? Put the entire reaction of Priyank Kharge in context for us. Well, you see, with the recently concluded Lok Sabha election, now that the chatter has again started in the Congress itself about the additional DCM demand, uh, there you see you know, a lot of community leaders are coming out and openly talking that they want their community leader to go and become deputy CM. There should be uh, justice made to those communities who have actually voted to their leaders. And that's how the party is also supposed to consider. Now, you remember, even as the, uh, the Congress came to power here in the state, right after that itself, there were a chatter, the similar chatters, but all that you had, a lot of leaders who said that this decision might happen probably after the Lok Sabha election. So now, yes, uh, as that the Lok Sabha election concludes, now you have again this chatter coming up within the Congress party itself. Mm -hmm. But however, needs to be seen because you have other Congress uh, leaders as well now lashing out at these leaders for coming out and talking in front of the media and demanding additional uh, DCM posts. There. Now, what these leaders are in fact stating that if there is such a demand, then they should actually go contact the high command directly, speak about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, what all they, their demands are. But more importantly, you also have a set of leaders from the Congress party itself who are saying that uh, these are the same leaders who are asking for the deputy CM, additional deputy CM post okay. did not work enough during the Lok Sabha election. The okay. party did not gain. So the uh, demand some... for multiple deputy CMs is coming in from within the Congress in Karnataka. Many thanks for that, Trito. I'm coming back to you in just a few seconds. S. Prakash of the BJP is with us on the phone line. Mr. S. Prakash, what do you make of this? You know, the BJP had hit out at the Congress over these demands that were raised earlier as well when, you know, a two CM formula was being spoken of, how the power is going to be divided. And there's an internal demand we're learning from within the Congress that there must be two deputy chief ministers now. No, they are demanding four deputy chief ministers mm. by the Siddharamaya faction. This is a campaign created by the Siddharamaya group to undermine the DK Shukumar authority since he's the sole deputy chief minister as of now. Increasing the deputy chief minister, his power will be cut, mm. and uh, the uh, uh, Sidramaya group will be much more powerful. This is an internal struggle which is responsible for demanding more deputy chief minister in Karnataka. Karnataka is already really under financial crisis. Mm. They want to create more such uh, uh, posts and uh, burden the uh, taxpayers in Karnataka. Mm. There seems to be some sort of, sort of a dissatisfaction with the manner in which perhaps the current Deputy Chief, Chief Minister is working on the issues that are concerning the Kannadigas, Mr. S. Prakash. What would your, be, be your suggestion or recommendation for that matter? Because Priyank Kharge has come out to say that if at all, you know, one is trying to pacify each and every community concerned and that's how a Deputy CM is going to be picked, then uh, that's really not going to, you know, turn out to be a logical conclusion at the end of the day. No, Mr. D.K. Shukumar is uh, as a KPCC president, he has got an uh, attitude of bullying everyone. Mm. Either the opposition parties or the ruling party members mm. also. So it is it is over his ass. kind of uh, uh, act, attitude the ruling party members are up against him mm. and they want to reduce his power, influence in the party and in the 
government mm, not to because forget this, yes. they want a more deputy chief minister mm, not to forget the place. the manner in which karnataka has been new in news in the recent uh, past with regards to the several hikes that are either being announced or being contemplated on many thanks mr s prakash for joining us on the phone line let me go across to my colleague ritu once again ritu mr s prakash says the demand from within the congress is that there should be four deputy chief ministers do we have a number ritu and how is the uh, you know central leadership responding to this how is the party high command responding to this okay we'll just reconnect uh, with ritu in a bit but triples in uh, karnataka congress as two congress netas have come out to request uh, for more deputy chief ministers though priyank kharge has a message for them says will this solve everything and in fact all this would have solved everything if equal representation was given to leaders from different communities and that's uh, how they were rewarded then all problems would have been solved in that manner and everybody would have essentially replicated but that formula which is not the case so that's the uh, board that's coming in from priyank kharge a message to all those who are currently demanding that karnataka must have more deputy chief ministers the sense we get though from on ground is that there's a little bit of a disappointment with the manner in which uh, dk shiv kumar is working like i said karnataka and news for all the wrong reasons in the recent past and it was a deputy chief minister remember who came out to say that uh, the state government is now mulling over a hike in water tariffs as well so whether or not you know these statements were not to be made before a decision was well thought out and perhaps implemented all of that are questions that uh, still need to be asked and need to be asked to the congress perhaps but where is the sentiment coming in from ritu and like i was pointing out you know s prakash of the bjp says that uh, the demand is for four deputy chief ministers do we have a confirmation on that number well uh, you see what that the bjp is also uh, in fact claiming that there is a demand specifically being made from the karnataka cm sidramaiah scamp now this is some sort of a competition that can be seen between and the deputy cm dk shikumar scamp as well as the karnataka cm uh, sidramaiah scamp you remember a couple of uh, months back itself that we had heard how that the congress minister k h muniappa who came out very openly and said that lot of leaders have already been ministers lot of times and lot of them have actually got an opportunity as well to become deputy cm so whatsoever it is that uh, the other leaders who have never got an opportunity should also be provided uh, with those chances what was been stated by uh, the congress leader and then you also with the de uh, deputy cm de uh, a uh, post as well you had dk shukumar himself sending that strict warning to these leaders saying that they cannot be speaking about it openly well that the high command will look into all these matters so there shouldn't be a further discussion but however you see this topic has once again come up needs to be seen whether what kind of disciplinary action that uh, Uh, the KPCC chief DK Shukumar will be taking on these leaders. So, what is going to happen? That will remain crucial then. Okay, all right. So, request so far has come in from two Congress leaders. How does uh, you know the chief minister, the deputy chief minister, respond? And most importantly, the central leadership as well, the party high command in the national capital. Many thanks for that, Ritu. We are in a very short break with that. Lots more lined up on the other side. We'll be right back.